My mom always told me to think about you first. Dang. Make sure your rent's paid first. Make sure everything's you first. Right. You know, she was always bad helpful though. Like my mom, I grew up with only my mom. She, anything I ever needed, she was it for me. You know, anything. <laughs> Anything, no matter what. What can she do? They see flowers cannot grow through concrete. But her roots made it through the surface after fighting through the rubble of the wreck her life became. The way she used her thorns, they said what she was so misfortunate to have. She turned it around and ripped their opinions to shreds. She tore through the stereotypes society had pegged on the woman whose pigment was just a slighter tone darker. They said she'd only be scrubbing toilets and rubbing ointment on the joints of the, of the privileged woman who lived before her. They said her grades would become brindled before her kids even reached preschool. They said she'd only be the state's issue if she buried children with no man to give his hand. They said her future did not matter, but she fought. Her petals half beaten have never bloomed so fluorescently. She wears her thorns proudly because let's face it. Who wants to face a woman's wrath whose, whose thorns are still stained from the blood of society's opinions and statistics? She stands tall, problems are known on the foundation she has claimed like Lance Armstrong. Through her sweat, tears, and blood, she watered the soil for two daughters to grow. Although their petals can only hope to be as strong as her own, they would derive from a flower whose stem is as strong as a bull. If I learned anything from my mother, mother, I learned no matter the winds that blow in your ear, warning you of the storm coming ahead. Remember there's still a bright sunny patch of grass that would then be watered for us to plant our roots and proudly. Once you get through the storm, you can flaunt the petals they said would die before you even had the chance to blossom. They said flowers cannot grow through concrete, but I beg to differ. Because my mother is the most beautiful rose I have ever laid eyes on. Beautiful indeed, my mother is a rose who rose above it all. She is a rose who grew through concrete. <laughs> Alright, my name is Tori B. Uh, you can find me on Instagram at T-E-E-R-E-X-X. T -E -E underscore, underscore so, why, why don't forget yourself? Um, I feel like a lot, a lot that happens nowadays. Um, people tend to forget, literally forget themselves because they're helping everybody else around them. Like, especially for me, I'm like, I need to help everybody. You're homeless, come stay with me. You hungry, I got food. You know what I mean? Like, I'm just that person where I tend to forget what I need now. I tend to forget that I need some TLC, you know, that I need to eat. <laughs> that, I'm, that whatever problems you're me, you may be causing me, I can't really have that either, so. Mm -hmm. You know. What can she do? Like that. Honestly, still to this day, I, I can't. Like, I look like I'm holding it together. I look like I have composure, and I'm like literally shaking in my freaking jeans. You see, I'm on the same. But somehow I make it through. So <laughs> somehow I don't even stutter. That's like that's why I went more towards spoken word poetry. Because if you're reading something, you're gonna be like. Oh, that's really good, you know, mm -hmm. as opposed to hearing it and then like the way I perform it, you know, I'm screaming at you basically. Like now you're forced to hear me, now you're forced to understand me, to feel that, like you feel that I was hurt while I was writing this, you know, and that makes you want to listen to me. Yeah. <laughs> I try, it's just like, because like, I don't want you to just hear me, I want you to fucking feel it, you know what I'm saying? Like I need you to feel what I'm saying, like I'm not just speaking to speak, you know, it's not just something I, you know, was dabbling in, something that I want y'all to hear, you know what I'm saying? Like, I want you to feel my emotion behind the words, not just pen to paper. I hate to say it, but my favorite poem is when I wrote about my dad. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> it's so fucking raw, you know? Like, that's, that's actually the one that everybody loves, too. I don't know what it is, it's just... It's that one and the one I wrote about my mom. Seriously. Your parents. Mm hmm. Fade away and pass her by. What could she do? Oh, when grown events on Instagram. I don't know when the next one is. Okay. I'm but, not too sure, but homegrown events. Like if you have an open mic, you like you just get up there and do it. Yeah, but if you're like performing. One. Yeah, she gave me like a slot, like a I think it was like a nine minute slot. Mm -hmm. No, I'm not painting. You're not painting? I've been, I've been painting, but it's like, I don't know if it's really my thing yet, you know? Have you, you dabbled in it before? Or? Yeah, I've done, I've done a piece that was, uh, it's not my own work. 
I found it online. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I'm gonna recreate that because I want it for my apartment. Mm -hmm. So I got like this big ass canvas and I just like stared at the picture and like just painted it. It actually came out pretty decent. So I was like, maybe I can fucking paint, man. And I'm like, yo, I was like, maybe I can paint, I can do this. That's a really good question. Because I follow a few people, a few people online. But somebody that always like touches me, Joyner Lucas. He's a rapper. Okay. But his music is fucking deep. Like super deep. Extremely metaphoric. Everything like hits you line after line after line after line. You're just like, oh crap. You know, like, I want to be like that. Mm -hmm. I want to be, like, where my poetry, every, every word that comes out of my mouth, you're just like, holy shit, that was really good. <laughs> you know, like, I felt that. That's him. How do you put your... Use your notepad in there. This, I got 60 notes. All of them unfinished. Unfinished. <laughs> Like everything that I usually, everything I talk about is just, just feelings in general. I like to, you know, compare it to normal things, natural things that you don't even think about, but you're like, that's very true. Right, yo, oh, yeah. follow them, give them a follow, get their edibles because they're popping.